Good morning, fish heads. Today is Tuesday, October 30th, the day before Halloween. And if this airs on Wednesday, then happy Halloween. And I hope you guys are going to be trick or treating with the little ones safely. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. We've got a few pieces to show you today. So get right into it. This is the LJMD 50. Very subtle. Just a shad, dyeing shad pattern. This was sprayed with all FW inks by Dale Rowney. And uh, one of the things that I like about that is that it's like a liquid acrylic ink and it shoots very easily. I've never even had any issues with the Iwata HP Eclipse um, with the pearls. You just have to shoot at a high enough pressure or have, uh, have a gun that'll work for you. And that Iwata HP CS Eclipse certainly does the job there. But very cool, love this pattern. It's a, a very deep indigo fading back to a turquoise, a little bit of turquoise on the tail, and then that pearl white with the shad dot. Real good action in the water, great for this time of year because it does imitate a dying shad. Something a little bit different. This is a little tunny, or a little toony, depending on how you pronounce it. This is the false albacore. It's a very clean, straightforward pattern. This is going into the Gulf of Mexico. Not fished uh, fresh water. Just that really pretty pearl. Some gray and some purple iridescence. And then we have Squidward. <laughs> so um, squid is a great Scooby snack for all the creatures inshore and off. We did this. This is a, an eight inch fat stick made to be cast and ripped. It's a nice little rip, rip stick. And I wanted to make sure the eyes really don't, they should be irrelevant pretty much on this bait because we want our, our target fish to key in on this. So there you have it. That's two offshore baits or inshore target things like, I know I named it Squidward, <laughs> um, target things like kingfish, larger mackerel, larger false albacore, albacore, maybe some tarpon out there. We shall see. You never know. Good luck to the owner of these. Fluorescent crawl. Get ready to go out the door. We have a discontinued baby one minus. This is the man's in the autumn brown. Just a quick flash strip on the side there. And yes, I'm not 100% happy with the way that, because, you know, a lot of it's the onus is on me. So when things go right and you guys see perfectly the great stuff that comes out of here, you should see the partial failures as well. This is just my learning curve. I'm not a foiler um, by nature, but I do like to foil. This is just some stuff that was uh, sold to me that is the wrong stuff. So unfortunately, uh, it's well, fortunately, it's not going to affect the way this bait swims. This is still going to swim very well in the water. It's going to get cleaned up and dressed to the nines with really good hooks and, and uh, stainless steel split rings. But because this is not the, the right gauge foil, this is actually the lure tape. It is going to wrinkle just a little bit, but we have two coats clear coat on the top of that and that will make up for any. And it didn't do them all, all of them because we heated them up and stretched it pretty well. You can see that that's a very clean seam. But on a couple of these, they did wrinkle just slightly. So, but we've got 10 in autumn brown going out. These are cool. These are Jekyll products, not Jekyll. I'm Jekyll, I'm a painter. I'm not a mold presser or a multi-million dollar company based out of Japan. And people do get that confused because of the name, but Jekyll, like Jekyll and Hyde, Jekyll is just a wild dog animal. Um, but a great bait company. So these are Jackal Rerange 130s. Outstanding dynamic jerk bait, um, made to suspend on a dime. Um, do a realis move over. These things have been proven. I've watched them swim. Just an amazing, it's a higher end jerk bait that a client that's ordered um, has requested in particular patterns that he wanted. He wouldn't normally think of a crawfish or a crayfish on a jerk bait, 
these are lower suspending and he wants he likes the the pattern but he wants the the colors specifically um, so he was very very specific in what he ordered this is my uh, chartreuse it's the blue with the chartreuse veining and a couple of a couple of different blues going on here and then those bright pink and he's, this time of year he's targeting walleye basically is what he's doing so just to give you an idea of what he's using this stuff for and we did them in twos so there you have that and we also did it in a white pearl crawl and this is my Jekyll crawl pattern Jekyll on a Jackal custom paint on a very good bait just a little bit of light colored on the throat and left the bait real clean a lot of times I'll do a random splatter pattern but I did not want to do that I had the option to do it on this I wanted to leave this very flashy very poppy clean um, and then he asked for glitter on the bottom so we have done that so good luck walleye I know who this guy is and he can fish them so these should be headed your way this morning And then also two um, lipless baits, one in gold with that iridescent purple fade on the top. And I did do the random splatter pattern on this one. And then a little bit of blush purple on the, on the cheeks and a bright orange on the bottom of the bait you can see that this is the disc knocker that's one of the reasons that you can tell that these are the real deal and not knockoffs and again i tell you guys this all the time i really prefer to paint the real deals um, but i do paint proven blanks as well and he asked for one in a chartreuse just a little bit less you can get this under the light here it's got just a little bit less of the purple on top. That shad dot, and then you've got that deep purple fade going back across the top. Very clean patterns on these. Sometimes simple is the most effective bait that you can, you can use. Patterns that you can throw. Got a couple of Strike King Red Eye Shad going out this morning. Greg, on their way. Oh, the dogs. They're going to keep going, so we're going to keep going, too. And then, I'm real happy about the way this turned out. It's already in the box, because we already have it hooked up. This is one of those curved. This is also going to be targeting walleye. And uh, that same strip was quite effective here. You guys can see that flash, that internal flash on there. That's that uh, foil strip. We stripped both sides on this one and just a really cool pattern got those red eyes fading down and that is it from the workshop jekyll baits this morning you guys have a fantastic rest of your week happy halloween and we will see you on the waters happy casting <laughs>